Oh, uh, from yes. overseas. I'm overseas. Where are you at in overseas? Uh, you don't have to tell me exact, just e Europe. Where are you at? Europe. In the U Europe. Now I'm UK. in Canada. Canada. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. Right. So, 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 like French Canada. Like the, yeah. the same area that, you know, the British came, tried to colonize. Uh, the French came, fought with the American Indians against the British at some point seceded and then said you know what we're happy to live in, in the north not in in nowadays or today uh, America North America is what something's missing out are you talking about the Americans that immigrated north uh, I didn't say all that I'm just telling you I was curious as to why it is where where I think we're missing the point of all of this taxation bit like I, I feel like we're missing the okay the, the well, well, okay we're, we're missing it right I mean so if you don't have taxes what happens well there's what happens when we get rid taxes? of uh, p the police department starts to uh, <laughs> collect it yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's right both state and st local state and federal you're right at every level there's some sort of a security detachment that has to that has to go away. And then what else? What else gets it goes away when you get rid of tax? Well, first of all, is how how do you get rid Stupid of it? people. Well, well, I'm just curious. If we say no tax today, which means no federal government essentially, because let's let's face it, who pays their taxes for okay. the most part? Not, not there, all there's two scenarios. One is where people stop paying tax. One is where it, the gov like it's legislated. The government makes a change. So, which one do you want me to go with? So, I'm not talking about um, the the various branches of government because we still need law and order, you know, and you'll get that through the judicial branch, the legislative branch, which makes all of our fucking laws, and then yeah. the executive branch, which is basically us paying the president to do his job. So, I, I'm telling you, taxes in general, federal, state, and local. If we got rid of it, what's kind of the, you know, what's the, you know, how are we going to solve whatever? Like, what, what's what's going to happen? Well, you'll get more economic opportunity because all the regulations are going to get out of the way. And if you want any regulation, you'll make it on your own property. Sometimes in agreement with the other uh, residents around. I would finally be able to start up my marijuana farm. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to do that. And that'll get rid of a lot of degenerates too. Because they'll be too busy smoking marijuana instead of, I don't know, and all multiplying. Busy collecting their money. Maybe we'll end up with a bunch of favelas, because they, they have children and they don't have a lot of money. But at least we'll be able to, like, you know, keep them away. As someone who's from Mexico and sees a lot of stupid people on the daily, um, Americans can either be, they're either... Well, I I think you're I think you're right, but yeah, I mean, you know that's it, unlikely to be true though. It's yeah, but I mean that's just it. Is you know those Americans that oh, not care or to care to understand? I think. Well, I I guess I just don't know when you say or likely to be stupid. What what do you mean? Like how? Probably social disagreements. Stupid. Okay, so well that's not stupid, that's not, that's they're just socialists. disagreements. But they're Ooh. either, like, very communist, or smart. You know, you, you communism and socialism, they mix. But socialism almost never equates to communism. I don't, but it I leads to it, though. It can, but it's not in this country. I, 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 it blows my mind when people are like, oh, you know, the, the left, the communists, like, no, that's, you don't understand how communism came to be and why it's been completely squashed out except for maybe a handful of countries we know of which Cuba, North Korea. So what I if mean, government spending approaches 80%? Oh, that's that doesn't so you're going to call them communists because they decided to well, overspend. No, but 80% socialist are you would you be okay with that? Oh, I didn't say I would be. No. No, I I, I agree with some of the socialist stuff going on in this country. I don't believe in all of it. That's some of it's incredulous to me. I can't believe that uh, we've decided, and even today, come on, you know the deal what's going on in America, we're trying to raise the debt ceiling, right? Every time we do that, every single fiscal year, it basically says, here, here's another free check. 
go spend some more money, right? I know that. I get that. I just don't understand why we think that this is all of a sudden become a communist country. That's not, absolutely fucking not what communism is. Like, you guys are doing it all fucking wrong. No, no, dog. Not even close. Well, socialist Again, there, you're happy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Much difference. Oh. Oh, like, man. how many regulations and erosions of property rights do you need before you call it socialism? Oh, I didn't say that I didn't. Or did. I'm just I literally telling... cannot build my own house on my own property without doing fucking regulations. It's so stupid. Well, you should come to Vermont then, because guess what you can do? If you own some, if you own some fucking uh, land, guess what you can do? Okay, so what? you're missing the point. You can build wherever the fuck you want, wherever you want, on however you want. You don't need to go... You don't need to run through the traps of, you know, he, here are all the codes for this area, here are all the, yeah, you're just missing the fucking point. Again, no, I don't it's, follow them anyway. that's the federal issue, you're, 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 you're mixing or mincing with state issues, right? State rights should not be a thing. It kind of is, though, that's, it's, it that's where we came from. Look at the, the 18th century, dude. In fact, look at the last hundred years of the 18th century, that's essentially Why does it matter from. if it's state, federal, or local? How well, what does that have to do with our, our arguments? How it is there a last I'm saying, so since America is technically 50 countries under one flag and... Um, I'm saying if it was only government. local, we wouldn't have these problems? Well, thing is, I live in a very local, locally political area in Washington. Where's that at? Oh, Washington. Washington State. State, right? Yes. Okay, good. Go ahead. What land would I build in in Washington, D.C.? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, man. I have no idea. I don't know what the the District of Columbia's fucking <laughs> legislative branch says. There's whatever. no land there. I don't, know. I don't know, man. But yeah, I, I I don't know. So so Washington State, which is probably overpopulated. By the way, some of the greatest bands come from there. Um, Actually, I love Washington, Washington State is not overpopulated. Really there's very... Shit. There's like a lot of... There's a guy behind there. Kill him, Lucky. Fuck, huh? how do I talk with this guy? Lucky killed, there's a guy! Wow, Lucky was so bad he got killed by him. Toyota's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Just come to the East Coast, uh, that's all I would say. Yeah, I mean, the original, uh, the original 13, man. Come on over here where it all started. <laughs> We're still under the federal government. Yeah, but they're more commies in the East Coast than they are in West oh, Coast. Oh, wow. I, I, I think, again, we're using some very big terms very loosely. I don't, but it ends I don't to, know. The to, the, to the same thing. They all vote to their world property rights, and whether they're only willing to go not all the way, uh, others are willing to go all the way, and eventually that'll be the political compromise. When we say all the... When we say all the way, what are we talking about? Some political parties? Or? No, something that you enough that you would you would call it okay, communism. Okay. Uh, well, again, I look okay. at very clear. I have very a question for you. What is the minimum extent communism? you would call communism? So I, you know, you said minimum extent. I think there are clear lines drawn between, uh, you know, governments that that are saying, hey, look. We own you people, this is how you're going to vote. Uh, we're going to control um, resources, economy, we're going to control things. Um, and guess what? You, you know, you you are you owe everything to us and our ideals. And you're, gonna, you're either going to stand by it, um, we're going to elect government wow, officials. That, was, that saved me. You're going to elect people that, that either stand by it, and if they choose not to, we're going to fucking execute. Or they're not. So they're, I don't think, again, when we say communism, commune, like that word, that little bit of it, like we are essentially saying this is how it's going to be. There's no, there's no gray lines with communism in my opinion. Or if it's democratic so what, though. I'm saying with... A democrat? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's real funny. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's, I, I think we're, we're stretching the word, the, the verbose part of it. We're, Communism, we're getting very Marxism, verbose. Same shit, different. Uh, Lenin. Yeah, I got it. Marxism. Yeah, I got it. You know, those things came from an ideal that we thought. No, Marxism. but I, you were talking about the authoritarianism, and I think part yeah. of that was political choice. Right. I think it doesn't That's matter. Right. I Communism think... doesn't have to be totalitarianism. Oh, well, I didn't say that either. Well, That's what you were making it up to be. 
It's kind of hard because there's two of us against one, so I, I can't get my it's thing fine. out. No, no, I, I, I can feel like you're, you're, you're playing devil's advocate, but you're not. I, I feel like you are, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that I think communism should be defined by the level of property rights, and it doesn't matter if it's a dictator or if it's the entire population that thinks it's okay and forces it on you. Well, if there are pockets of it in, in a country, then it should be probably brought up to the, the national level. Okay, I mean, we so can't just sit here and pretend that it doesn't I'm, exist I'm gonna say in our country. I'm going to say something from my experience. Go ahead, from tell my me experience, all about it. I, I've not been able to say my political beliefs without getting, you know, harassed and I actually got my car keyed before we were said. Yeah, but where where are you where are you at? Where, like I, I feel Okay, you keep you said that, but I don't So you're saying that your free speech isn't so free. Yes. Wow. And it's that's dictated amazing. by a bunch of fucking social Is that in Mexico or uh, New Mexico? Uh no, Washington. I I I'm yeah. not in Mexico. Yeah. Well, anyway, the country as a whole is such that the federal government yeah, it's not supports such an environment. Government. It's like a social government that regulates what you say and can literally ruin job opportunities and all that what? shit because of your political Yeah, beliefs. compulsorily takes uh, resources from you in the form of tax to fund jobs that you're not even eligible to apply. That openly We're talking about Mexico now. We're talking about Mexico, right? Okay. No. No, I think we were all in the U.S. He wasn't in Mexico. I don't know no. why he okay. said that all earlier right. on. Go ahead. In Mexico, it makes sense that the people are stupid because they're so poor there. But wow, I, I don't think that, that that's the case. You've got a lot of environmental factors going on in Mexico that you're you're missing the point there too. Oh so yes, there's cartel. So, yep, there you go. You got they aren't some gangs. Well, I messed They aren't even that, gangs, big, of there. Well, even that big of a factor. Yeah, maybe oh. if they got rid of the government, the nicer police departments could compete with the gangs. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know, I know if, uh, if, if it'll work, but I think there's a good chance. Uh, I feel like neither of you, neither of you ever spend a day in Mexico. That's the problem. I didn't. I don't want to. Uh, I know I haven't yeah. spent a day. Unless in I'm in a safe area. Exactly. 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 Uh, but go it's ahead. The Aztecs. Tell, me, tell me about Washington. Tell me about the, uh, the tough, the tough times in Washington. Go ahead. Uh, well, pretty much. <clears throat> Oh, I literally had my property destroyed and stolen, which involved like my cell phone getting stolen because I actually I am a right wing Trump supporter. Yeah, who would have thought? Not exactly I actually, aligning with all I of his you. beliefs. Oh shit! You pegged me. Why does my ass not hurt? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Oh my god, I died. Almost. I know I'm still alive. Oh, I'm good actually. I just need a repair. All right, man. All right. Guys, guys, uh, it was an interesting thing to hear right now. It was interesting. See, Toyota. What happens? I hope is that you do not want to. Or no, even better, you think it's genetic, and you don't want to argue with these people, and they're alien to you, and you have no loyalty. In fact, you have disloyalty to them. And you take everything. Yeah, Except well, in private agreements for some idea. Well, the good news story here is that uh, this is, for the most part, as I understand it, not a Marxist. It's a very much a land of the free kind of thing. So go ahead and say what's on your mind. Or just listen in. It's okay, either way. It's a land of what? It's, you know, the free, mostly. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's civil rights, yeah. There are civil rights, yes. Correct. That's right. Hi, man. Take care. The good thing about civil rights is uh, usually you're able to escape the country. <laughs> oh my god. You're, you're a bit, you're, you're a bit extreme with that. What's that? I am. I am extreme. A lot of people don't wouldn't leave their country. Me, I, I'm already planning to get my CPA license in, an, in another place in case I lose mine here for some bullshit reason. Yeah, but you said you're 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 working out of Canada, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's so different? What do you not have job security in Canada? But it's not the job security. It's I don't know, man. Maybe uh, they. Oh shit. Maybe I have to do things I find distasteful in order to uh, keep my job. I don't know. Maybe uh, they find some internet posts. Uh, and. Uh, 
ban me or something. Oh, I've gotten suspended from my, my school because of things I have said online. Yeah, but this is yeah. Canada. This is not... I mean, I, I won't say that it's so unlike the US, but you're in Canada. I think so. A little bit different. Don't you have... Isn't there some sort of... Doesn't feel very different, though. Mon is it there I think tax sort of is better, because you don't have... They, they don't annoy you with international tax when I deal with other companies. Oh, they don't ask me if it, I'm a US citizen. Is that called the, the is that the VAT, the value added tax, or is that something else? No, no, the income tax. Like if I leave oh. Canada and I'm not a tax resident, they leave me alone. Okay. Uh, well, you get taxed in the states. Come south. You're no, no, get no. <laughs> I don't know. What I don't know. You get paid more. I like your. I like that. Your currency has more purchasing power worldwide. It's with true. Your Actually, wage. it's plummeting. It's a little strong, but not the, so much. The stronger. euro is stronger. No, uh, that's that nothing uh, significant happened, and you know they all kind of go down anyway. Uh, yeah, there's and if the euro already dollars. has negative interest rates, I I don't know what to say about the I'm dollar. Pretty sure the U.S. dollars went down 30% value in the last. Um, no. Or no, 30% okay, of the money. Okay, maybe in purchasing power, but not in the effects market. Yeah, I was gonna say. You yeah, know, when, when we talk about the the international markets, the the. And after the it was cash. taken off of the gold standard. What's that? And after it was taken off of the gold standard, the value plummeted. Which, personally, I think it should not have been taken off the gold standard. Uh, all that matters is I can travel today to Australia, and an, an American dollar will buy, you know, a dollar eighteen over there. All I'm saying is that international forex stuff is it's good for for Americans right now today. It, it might not be. In, Two months, two years, whatever. I I do a little bit of forex myself, but like really? I got my TD Ameritrade account open. I just ignore it. But, like the New Zealand dollar made me a couple hundred bucks. That was nice. Yeah, the Kiwis. That's another thing too. NZDs is so good. I uh, I spent about six months on the South Island. New Zealand, it was good too. It was oh, also the South Island great, is gay as shit. The North Island's where it's at. Are you? No, no, you're you're silly because you got some hot springs. You go down further south. I mean, you got uh, like Takapo. You've got the um, yeah, there was some areas in the northwest. Hold on a second. Yeah, so we got uh, some glaciers in the northwest. I mean, come on. You can't beat it. It's beautiful there on the South Island. I know. I know you're probably one of those hobbits. You like to go visit some of the uh, Lord of the Rings stuff, but wait, there's Lord I had of the to, I had to do the Zealand. South Island. Yeah. No. Oh. I had to do I the South know. Island. Yeah. That, no, apparently that's all of my um, New Zealand Kiwi friends live on the North Island. Well, I mean, that's crazy because there's is a huge thing. It's huge down on the South. I mean, there's so many places to, uh, to visit to get. Yeah, to get after. Alright, man. Oh. Switch. Good. Alright. Oh, I found the katana. Oh, shit. Got it. Feel like the bombs suck. Anyone else feel the same? Uh, yeah, the bombs got nerfed. What about the uh, incendiary? Are they good? I don't know. Maybe I should give them a try. You know what? Yeah. They might be better for anti-personnel. Yeah. I mean, I use the ro well. I think the bombs are okay against tanks, but they suck against infantry. Yeah, they used to be really good against infantry. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I mean, they're harder to use than rockets, I think. Yeah. And uh, they they just and they, they have a. Do more damage. Yeah, and the area of effect is a joke. If I drop a 500 kilogram bomb on somebody and it doesn't kill them. Oh, I'm trying them out now.
Goodbye. And he left. Mm. Yes. What side of the political spectrum would you say you're on? I'm, uh, I'm between the uh, group Darwinist and the individual Darwinists. So between freedom and uh, fucking with uh, groups I don't like. I'd say I'm pretty similar to you. Because my beliefs change whether who I'm fucking with. <laughs> oh no. I'm more referring to the fact that uh, uh, I'm, I'm racist. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I, I yeah, and I, I believe that race is uh, important to politics, and it affects my freedoms and stuff. Uh, in what ways? Well, the the guys of different races will change, will have a strong tendency to vote another way, irrespective of uh, environmental factors. In fact, they overwhelm environmental factors, and almost I do every. See that, yeah, anyway, I can send you an article if you find a good uh, counter to that. It's uh, fairly uh, concise and uh, it goes through uh, all the um, assumptions and so on. Forgot the exact name. But it basically says that... Uh, it basically goes through uh, how uh, race is uh, relevant and important to a libertarian social order and how without whites it's basically impossible but I guess it could be possible with Japanese or Koreans or somewhere, somewhere, somewhere someone somewhere so yeah I mean I don't see it as an environmental thing I don't think uh, you c yeah you can convince some people but ultimately a good portion of them you can't and uh, it's a fool's errand I'd so, say a black person born in Compton versus a black person born in Beverly Hills to an affluent family you know would be more likely to vote towards different people yeah so anyway I, I want that society where um, you can keep what you build for 400 years and more without people creating a fucking government that uh, eventually uh, invades it. Yeah. And, and I see it as a primarily a genetic war. And I know a lot of people are doing books, they're doing talk shows, they're doing... They're already doing the other way anyway. So I don't think I'm going to be able to make any difference substantially if I, you know, start fucking talking about it with others, so I don't. I'm saying, aside from you believing uh, race affects politics, do you actually, like, just hate black people or, um, like, other races? No, it's like? just because they vote to take my fucking, uh, the rights that I care about away. Okay. They're, they're, I, I find them politically invasive and, like, an so existential you threat. the race is a factor, but you just don't like people that vote against with your rights. It's instrumental, it's not inherent. What? I'm sorry, I just got here. Yeah. What, what are we talking about now? Uh, so he believes that race affects politics and... Yeah, well, it's, it's not race, it's genes, but yeah, race is included. Oh, genetics, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. My bad. Uh, in which countries? I'm Everywhere. sure that's very relevant in a lot of countries. What's that? Uh, everywhere. But I mean, yeah, you could approach that different yeah. ways and say that if there's a big difference between the natural tendencies in that current country, it's more relevant to that country because it's going to cause a shift. Yeah, Whereas if they're already in tune, it's not as yeah. relevant there. But yeah, I, I don't think I, it I means would, much. I would agree. Yeah, what? Well, no, I mean, I would, I would get to a point. Are you trying to run for office? Because no, of course not. <laughs> there we got a problem. If I ran for office, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd do it uh, with murder and stuff, with a fucking coup, <laughs> which isn't gonna coup. happen. Right? Yeah, but you gotta be part of a military. Most most coups, that's where it starts, right? The military takes over. What was, yeah, did, yeah, I think, well, how did Hitler do it, though? Uh, he Stalin? ran for chancellor and uh, then started backing yeah. more to his group. Oh shit, we're losing. I wish I could call in a, a tank. Oh, uh huh. Anyway, it's fine. Uh. 
Well, is there any trust in any system, political or not, between the two of you? I feel like you guys have just been living. Somebody's been controlling your life since the day you were born. What well, not gives? of my life, but certainly of the en political environment. The well, the social economic environment. So you've got more than just the political. You've been controlled since the day you were born. You didn't realize it. Maybe you did. No, I, I don't. Know. I don't agree with that. There's too much of a standard deviation between my views, my parents' views, and society's views. It doesn't matter. You you were born in something. You were told this is right and wrong. There could be social norms or not. You were fucking controlled. You don't know that, yeah. but you do. I was influenced. So what is it? Yes, I agree. So. Okay. Okay. Well. So here you are today. So what do you believe in? What don't you? Do you think you can just roam the free streets without law? You know, lawless streets? Are we? Is this ma you know Max in the Thunderdome here? Or what the fuck is it? No, you just need the. Uh, you just <laughs> need different rules. That's all I want. Like, like what rules? What, what is the rule? Prop what property rights, and I think people can can defend those. And oh, those poor fucking so, Native Americans. Yeah. You should, you should join them, but no, you can't. But they're getting they had, they had clan control. Yeah. Whoa! Did you say gun control? Oh, now we're shifting. No, gears. clan control. Oh, clan control. Oh. What's yeah. Clan control? Got a chieftain too. So. Ooh, a chieftain. I yeah. I we're don't. talking about gun control. Also. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. That's also, they, there weren't enough of them. They didn't really have a. Like, you couldn't live separate from your tribe very well. It's like saying the Romans had no place to invade Britain. They took their land. Oh, the Romans. The, the, we learned a lot from this. You know, this huge. I don't think they know, learned anything. Massive. Society. I mean, come on. I mean, we learned a lot. We don't realize it, but indirectly, uh, you know, nations rose. You know, countries became. I mean, fucking look at Britain. It, the British Empire was the biggest thing since sliced bread for ages, and then and, until they weren't. And then all of a sudden, it was like, hey, I'm queen, but are you of what? Oh, we recognize. You know, here we are. So. Anywho. Yeah, there's a progression. Yeah. Let's see, what is this? What is this here? Oh, we're on Wake Island. I think I, I should go, so I'm gonna leave. Have a good one. It was okay, nice man. playing towards the end. <laughs> yeah, nice playing with you. I'm not actually.